And we begin with that breaking news tonight. We are sad to report that Deputy Dom Collada has passed away. The 35-year-old was shot while on duty yesterday during a felony warrant arrest in Spanaway. Dom leaves behind a wife and young son tonight. It is not the news we wanted to bring you. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Hannah Kim. The other deputy shot during that arrest, 45-year-old Rich Scaniff, is recovering and is expected to survive. But for now, their colleagues are just learning that Dom has passed away. Fox 13 Steve Kiggins joining us now from Pierce County. Steve, this is just heartbreaking. Yeah, Hannah, this is not good news, but this is what uh, Sheriff Ed Troyer told us yesterday, about 24 hours ago, uh, that he was told by medical professionals here at St. Joe's Medical Center to prepare for the worst. They were remaining hopeful that, that Dominic Collada would survive his injuries, but unfortunately that's just not the case. Fox 13's own David Rose confirmed that information with us, with his sources uh, in law enforcement, and Collada, we've learned, died just a little more than... 24 hours after that shooting down in Spanaway just yesterday. We'll recap of what, what happened yesterday. Uh, Sergeant uh, uh, Rich Scaniff and Dominic Collada were both injured exchanging gunfire with Jeremy Dalton as they attempted to serve an arrest warrant against him in Spanaway on Tuesday. Police say Dalton died at the scene. Now, yesterday afternoon, both those deputies were rushed here to St. Joe's in Tacoma. Today, Scaniff he is recovering here at St. Joe's after successful surgery, but as you've just learned, Collada died this afternoon. Now, Sergeant Darren Moss with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, he asked us to share this message with both of these deputies' families, thanking their family members for the sacrifice that they make along with these officers. Take a listen. The only thing that, um, just tell them that I love them. Love these guys. I appreciate them. I appreciate their families for letting them do this job with us um, because we all take bad days home with us and um, these are one of the worst things that we can have to go through and uh, we're all here for them. They are all here for them, not just the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, but police officers uh, from all across South Puget Sound here in Tacoma. We saw folks here from Spanaway, from Edgewood, from Puyallup. Police had rushed here yesterday. There are still many of them here today at St. Joe's here to share their support for these deputies' families, for the deputies that still are working alongside them as they learn Deputy Collada has passed away this afternoon. Uh, we're going to stick around in Tacoma, gather some reaction as we can. But that's the latest in Tacoma. Steve Kagan's Fox 13 News. Again, just to add to what Steve Kiggins just said, you know, Collada right there, only 35 years old. He was with the department for seven years, the Pierce County Sheriff's Department for seven years, four of that on the SWAT team. He was also a National Guard member and previously served in the Army. So he was a man of service for most of his life, not just for our community, for the country. And I also saw a Facebook video not too long ago of Collada from back in 2020 when he took part in a thing called Story Time with a Sheriff, where he read a book out loud to kids in the community, and in that video, he talked about his son, we believe his four-year-old son, um, and about how the book he was reading was his son's favorite book. So when you look at something like that, it is so heartbreaking to hear the news that a family is grieving and an entire community is grieving. So, of course, as this story continues to develop, we'll bring you the latest here on Fox 13 as well as on our website, fox13seattle.com.